What's going on with chat? Rick says, we'll be completely surprised if SpaceX allows any coverage that competes with their own coverage on X. P.S. I'm not on X and have no plans to join X. Yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a interesting situation, because if you didn't know this, SpaceX will not be streaming the Starship launch on YouTube. SpaceX is not doing it. They are just doing it on X now, X.com. If you don't have an X account, then you're not going to be able to watch it because you need to be an X member to watch it on that platform. So it's a weird situation considering how many subscribers and people that actually watch, like the millions of views that they get on YouTube. Could they get that same amount on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it at this point? I don't know. What do you guys think in chat? Let me know what you're thinking. What are you thinking? Because I understand why they would be doing that. But I also understand that they already have a built-in audience here. They have people that love them on YouTube. I know they won't be streaming it to YouTube. Did they say it or just a guess? There was a tweet earlier. I don't have it. It's, I didn't even pull that up. I didn't know that was going to be a topic of conversation today. That wasn't part of the show. So I'm just riffing here. But there is a tweet. Let me see if I can find it. Just so we have a, a demonstration here. And like with all of these shows, this is free form. We go with the flow. There we go. Let me see if I can find it here. But irregardless, YouTube, they're removing all YouTube streams. Stephen Young. And also the launch pad. Zach over the launch pad reported it earlier, too. It's a big deal for SpaceX. Let me show you Stephen Young's tweet. Work for Spaceflight now. SpaceX is going all in on X. YouTube streams for Crew 6 Splashdown and Starlink 612 webcasts have been removed. Will now be streamed on X. Also, links to all social media networks deleted from the SpaceX website menu. So, Steezy Stephen Young works for Spaceflight now. Reputable reporter. Spaceflight reporter. Publisher of Astronomy Now and Spaceflight Now. Very reputable. So, why would they... Why it seems like a th I don't know what to think about this. I really don't because I I'm in between here, right? I understand why they're doing it. I really do. I really do understand why they're doing it. Elon wants to make X the platform, the everything platform. So I get it. I understand Elon, but you also have millions of people on YouTube that want to watch this, and there's probably a good subset of that don't really care about X or don't really care about Twitter. Whatever you want to call it at this point. If you want to call it Twitter still, that's cool. I'm cool with that too. Not weird. X needs the money. Simple. George, it's true. And they do need the money. And that can bring in some good ad revenue. That can bring in millions of dollars possibly. So that's a good thing. They're going to be competing directly with YouTube now with this everything platform. And it seems like Elon does want to move everything from SpaceX over to X.com, which to me... I, for me, I don't care. I have, a, I have an X.com account. I'm fine. But I don't see. I don't see the long game considering YouTube is like the. It's TV for the modern age, basically. You watch everything here. Let's see. I'm looking around on SpaceX's site right now to see if I can find any mention of, of any other social media, but I don't see anything quite yet. So I'm going to go to X.com. Go to SpaceX, SpaceX, and then we'll do a little bit of digging here, see if they have any other platforms. They just link to their SpaceX.com site on their X.com. There's so many X's here, okay? So SpaceX and X.com. We'll see what happens in the near future, but if they're moving everything to the X platform, there'll be, there'll be a bunch of people over there, millions of people watching it, but will they get the same audience? I'm not 100% sure. Not 100% sure. Yeah. I'm not sure what they're going to be doing with the X platform over there, how they're going to be live streaming it. Sure, it's going to be the same feed as it was on YouTube, but not as high quality. I don't know if you've ever watched a video on X, but it's not that great a quality compared to YouTube. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. George, I can see your comments. And with YouTube, you have archives easy to access and without having to scroll for a decade. I'm Novacon. I 100% agree with you. 
There are certain things about Twitter X, whatever you want to call it. It's X now. But there's certain things about that platform that are not easily digestible. It's like Twitch. Like when you see a live stream on Twitch and you're watching somebody, but there's no way to interact with that afterwards if the people pull down their stream or something like that. There's no archives after a certain amount. It's something like that where you have to scroll down like a million places. There's no discoverability as of quite yet. I can't find the live feed on X. Yeah, like that's how do you find that? Is it going to be featured on the front page? It might be. Like when everybody logs in, if there's going to be a billion people going to Twitter that day or X, then will every single one of those people see it on the front page of X.com or on their app or whatever? Check out the SpaceX live stream. So it's a cool platform. I don't think it's a bad idea, but I also don't. I won't understand it until it actually happens. I guess that's the thing. I can't make a judgment call until after it happens. I'm enjoying all the features on X. It's becoming an awesome platform. I figured they would make the move eventually. I expect some unique features eventually built in the X platforms for viewers. Jacob, I think they have some really great ideas. I think Elon has some really great ideas for the platform. And I think this is like a jumping point where he can just say, hey, SpaceX, why don't we move everything over to X? We control the, pl okay, so this is another thing that's important to this. He controls the whole platform. He owns the platform, of course, with his with the other people that have invested in it as well as private investors. So he takes all the money. He doesn't give YouTube a cut. He gives another company that he runs, which is X.com or X Corp. He gives that company money from his hard work and the hard work of all the SpaceX employees in this launch. They're going to make money just straight up into one of the companies that Elon runs. Why would he give that money to YouTube? And if they figure out the replay UI so we can all figure out how to watch it later, that would be great, too. If they figure out how to get a better a better bit rate, that would be great, too. But I've seen some streams on X that are pretty good. So I'm assuming before this launch, Elon's going to go wild on the dev team and make sure that everything's in place. So one, servers don't crash. Two, we get a good bit rate. And three... It makes them look great in front of the eyes of everybody else that's on that platform. So I'm assuming all those things will happen. Plus, basically, the only thing you have to do if you're a streamer, and this is not the only thing you have to do, but your ingest server, where you send the data from your production room, in SpaceX's case, a whole production facility, where do you send that to? So instead of choosing YouTube, you choose X instead. So they'll be streaming, live streaming, the launch on x.com. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting move. And I'm glad you brought that up in chat because I didn't have any plans on talking about it today, but I know people are feeling very strongly about it. So I think as a community, as space flight fans, as every single person is here, we're all space flight fans. We should talk about this stuff. There's petitions going around. There's a petition on, there's a petition on Twitter, right? Or on, on Reddit right now. Yeah, there's some stuff going on. Yeah, it's an interesting take, but I'm glad you brought that up. Could just multi stream to X and YouTube. I agree. That would make sense, too. They've been doing that, too, with some of the flights. So they have you can due to the terms of service. So there are some terms of service with other platforms, such as Twitch. If you're an affiliate or partner on Twitch, you can only stream on Twitch live. Right. You can't stream on Twitch, X, YouTube, Kick, whatever other live streaming platforms are out there. You can't do all those things at the same time. So what you can do is go to one platform. But if you're on X and YouTube, YouTube allows you to stream to wherever you want. They don't care. They're like, we're making our money. That doesn't matter. So there's no exclusivity unless you have an exclusivity contract with YouTube. So there is a possibility that maybe they'll do both. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I have high hopes. We said similar things about Rumble a while back. It's gotten much better. Yeah, Rumble is a, it's a weird platform, but it works. And it's a small, it's a small team that's working on that place. There's some fringe components to that platform, but it's it, it, like over time, everything kind of gets better. YouTube used to be a small platform. 
way back in the day, and now it's a juggernaut. There's no stopping YouTube, really. If you think a bit, if you think about it within the structure of dot coms and the, the dot com bubble and the bursting and everything, and what did you think was going to last? You probably didn't think a, a video platform where like random people make videos <laughs> would last that long. It's, you would think that something like a bank or something like back in the day, that's what people were thinking. They're like, why would anybody want to watch other people make videos? They're not professionals. And now look at YouTube. So now there's. Now there's other platforms, Twitch, there's whatever else. And now X is going to be is going to be throwing their hat in the ring for streaming SpaceX live coverage of the launch. So, yeah, Stephen Young reported it. Stephen Young space flight now. 